Hi. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, my pleasure. You ready uh, to come in? Well, I'm ready to come in, okay. but before I do, I like to tell people, once I open the door to spirit communication, I don't control what comes through. That's OK. So no, you are ready? I'm following you. Oh, yeah. OK, great. Thank come you. Come on in. All right, now, I, I, if, if I stand here, mm -hmm. I'm feeling some residual stuff from here. Residual meaning activity that might have happened at one time to you. Between this room and this room, mm -hmm. I saw a lot of uh, coming and going of, I'm going to say this is a man. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to say that this is going to sound strange. He's a gay man. I don't see, I don't know if there's perfume in here, but it would be in here. But that's why I kind of sensed, because I keep seeing him spritzing himself. Definitely was a woman in another lifetime. That's where his memory of being a woman comes into play in this lifetime. You know Kitty that would come over here? Yeah. And you gave him some of your clothes to wear? He's a cross-dresser. Oh, yeah. He, he was, um... Well, I mean, a cross-dresser. He, he actually had a sex change, mm -hmm. and I did help him out a lot. I didn't make the connection when you first said that, because I have not known him to have passed, so. He also says that he has had some deep conversations with you about life yeah. and about relationships. Yeah. But as I stand here, he's right here. This man was killed. Like, by people that persecute him for liking to be dressing right. up as a woman. So That's too bad. That's awful. It is bad, and it's not. It looks like I'm, I am in some kind of desert area, like Las Vegas or Nevada, somewhere in that area, mm -hmm. uh, possibly New Mexico, Arizona, very dry desert-like climate. He went to Nevada. Oh, OK. And now they haven't heard from him for a month. But when, how many years ago was that? Seven, eight, nine. He he didn't uh, come to terms with his own death yet. That's too bad. It's, okay. it's horrible. Okay, so let's go on up the, to the kitchen. Did you ever have a time where you had a sleepover with a friend, and maybe you were both sitting here, and all of a sudden something very weird happened here, and you just looked at each other? Uh, probably a hundred times. I mean, you heard this banging noise, like this crash. And oh, you, yeah. Yeah, I've heard that. With and you looked at each other like, it's just you and I in this home. Who, who, who is this? Yeah. But that's happened so many times. I'm sensing an energy, a man. I'm going to give this man a name. OK. Because he said Henry. OK, OK. He was, uh, I want to say murdered. There's a lot of violence. But it's, it's because of his own actions he was murdered. He did not hang with the right crowd. And so this man went too soon before his time and too violent. So he needed to hang around and find an outlet. And he found an outlet here. I'll tell you what's maybe some good news here. He doesn't live here anymore. Good. OK. No offense, Henry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your father have an initial L? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a short name, though, very, like, three letters? Yeah. Lee. There are times your, your father absorbed this man's anger. A lot of maybe your dad's moods were not really based on his own feelings and thoughts. But he was always protecting you. Now, I don't know if there's another upstairs to this place, but I'm feeling like I have to go above my head. Yeah, Let's... there's bedrooms upstairs, okay. so yeah. Not sure if you ever had to sleep with the covers over your head, but I'm getting, like, very scared being woken up out of your sleep. <laughs> the 
this was like one big playhouse for them. Uh, there weren't too many boundaries and there weren't too many rules. And that is why I'm kind of sensing they might have been here. Mm -hmm. Some of them might not have even known they are dead. <gasps> one of them hung himself or was... Mm -hmm. Oh, God. This is wow, very gruesome. Mm -hmm. Because th there's another one that was... I want to say chopped up. Body was chopped. You know someone who died like that? No, I don't know. But when I, you know, the times that I do see, Sometimes it is just a lot of times shoulder down. And there was one time, one particular, I remember just seeing a face, not anything else. It slept with my mother. I was so freaked out. They would never pull that stuff on your mom. They, they were, they were, mom had a really harsh tone to her, like, don't mess with me. Just her demeanor. She's sweet as could be. Mm -hmm. But they knew enough not to mess with her. Yeah, that's could very well be true. Who's Kevin? Uh, I have a good friend named Kevin. He doesn't live here. But he was diagnosed with cancer. He's living. And I knew it before he called me. And I was here. And then the phone rang, and I said, oh, you're sick. Oh. And he goes, how did you, you know that? And I just said, I just knew it. And you were here in this space? I was in my room, yeah. There you go. It was one of those moments that you're like, oh you know, something else was going on. Right. I don't think that's a stretch at all. OK. I would love to to find out, when you come here, mm -hmm. where do you stay? Where do you, where do you sleep when you come here? I sleep in the lower level. Let's okay. go, Joe. We'll all go right, downstairs. Great. OK. This was my dad's area when he was alive. And I have some thoughts about this, and I'm curious <coughs> to what you'll pick How up on. All of a sudden, I can't breathe coming down here. The air is very thick. There has been a man that has been recognized by other people besides me as In, well. Down here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. OK. This man, I have to ask who it is. Because I don't know. Well, Dad will know. He hears what we're saying, mm -hmm. and he's definitely ready to weigh in. I could feel him getting ready to merge with my energy. You ride horses? Did you ever ride horses? Mm hmm Yeah. Do you now ride horses? No. Mm-mm. Do you do anything with cruelty to animals? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do. W what do you do? I mean, what, well, what does I this Well, I do mean? a lot of uh, equine rescue and, and dogs as well. The best way I could tell you is the man took care of the horses. That's what he did. I'm in a barn. I'm in a stable. He's brushing. He's grooming. I see him leading them out. I see him filling the bale, uh, you know, bales with food for the horses. This man with the horses is, is thanking you for what you do. Oh, OK. That's nice. He himself was an animal lover. But then he obviously died somewhere. Could have been. I may not have known him. I cannot get off dad without him saying that what you've been experiencing is not a curse but it is actually a gift. Being afraid of it has attracted all of these dark spirits that feed off that fear. OK. That feeling makes sense to me when you say that. It's so, what you bring I with so. you. I agree with that. You bring them in. Some of them go, some of them return, some of new ones come. A lot of them are men. Well, first of all, you're gorgeous, so I wouldn't doubt that even spirits want to follow you around. <laughs> Maybe. But I'm not quite sure that men. they are, right? Because yeah. I'm seeing a lot of men. I don't even know that I've seen a woman before. I, only one, and it wasn't in the face-to-face. -face. Right, right. So that's true. Basically, aside from those friends of mom's, I haven't really seen too many women here either. Right. <laughs> 